My method consists in a Skype on personalized supervision and in three words is to learn how to practice. That is the thing. And of course, make sure that you don't repeat mistakes because most of the time uh, people watching videos this or contradictory opinions about how to study techniques, postures, all the what we do to be able to play to have fluent technique, rhythm, etc. These things we have to, to, to make sure that there are no flaws there in how you will practice it. And of course, if you have 20 minutes a day to do it, this is the minimum required, which is a lot of time actually, because if you practice 20 minutes right, then this is great. You will advance in no time you are playing the stuff. So that is because this method precisely is, is made, is designed to save time, to save your time and my time also. <laughs> you save time because once you do the things right, you are sure that what you will practice is right, then there is no wrong repetition. Otherwise, uh, by doing it yourself, then you'll be confused forever only because people will say one thing, the other will say another, and then I follow nothing actually. And then they have to come with this kind of statements like, like saying, well, why, why follow Paco de Lucia technique or anything? Everyone has his own way. Translation, I secret, secretly follow no one. <laughs> this is what happens, right? So, uh, therefore, of course, I play for fun myself. This is not a job for me. And most of the people now who are playing great are playing as people who play for fun. I do also play for fun. And therefore, everyone is welcome to join. There is no requirements like reading music. Or you can start from scratch, and also you can apply what we do in flamenco to play any other style as well. Because this information, this is the cool thing about this Bacchus technique and style, that this stuff you can apply to everything, to every style of music, to pop music, to play solos or other stuff, world music. There is no limit of what you can use, but the way is that we have to cover technique, rhythm, and repertoire, right? And then, additionally to that, optional, this is uh, subjects like harmony and, and theory and this stuff, to be able to apply things and to expand your vocabulary of chords and learn, learn the language of music. This is the thing. Most of the, of the time there are uh, song teachers. They teach you a song, not the language. The language is, is most important. And therefore, of course, if you learn the language, then you can say many things. If I just repeat, like, parrot one poem or one thing, and say, if I want to learn Russian, and I learn only how to repeat and pronounce maybe well one poem, or some, some sentences there, that doesn't mean I, I know really the language. So to study the language, we need to do, do grammar. This grammar thing is also scales and all that, and that will be covered according to what you can do in the present and from there I bring you up to the highest level. Fair enough?